Hey folks, in this video we are going to take a look at actually giving feedback using a rubric and a marking guide uh, and really being able to reach out or, or kind of provide uh, evaluation and feedback to students in the Moodle environment. So as always you go into your course, you go into a particular assignment and when you come into the assignment this is one of the things I really like is once you enter that space you have your grading summary and so it tells you how many participants there are in the course how many have submitted how many needs gradings nice good quick clear up here I can choose view all submissions or I can choose grade if I go to view all submissions it gives me the full list of what has been who has submitted and what that status is so I can see these two people they have submitted for grading I can go in and grade each individual one I can also actually edit so I can click down there and I can either update the grade I can prevent somebody from submitting I can remove a submission so we know sometimes students will submit something and then they'll email and say oh my gosh that was the wrong thing you can go in and remove that they may email you and say oh my gosh this is what I meant to send and you decide to go in and you can replace that. Um, so it's a really nice, quick, easy way of looking at that. And if they're submitting a file, I can actually go and take a quick look at that. So that's if I want to go to, you know, looking at all submissions. However, I actually want to get into the grading. I know, you know, I've got a, I've got a bunch of papers I want to look at and, and excited to give feedback to students. So I'm just going to jump right into the so here we go. We land into the grading space. I'm actually going to make the screen a little bit bigger so folks can see it. And we're going to ignore the center right now. And I'm just going to focus over here on the right. Uh, it gives me some key information. It's not graded. It tells me the student could still actually edit the submission. It tells me when it was submitted and any comments the student might have sent along. It also gives me this rubric, uh, which is really great. I actually created this and assigned and uh, attached it to this assignment and I can actually move about and provide feedback. I'm gonna actually pop this out so folks can see it. I hit the little crossbars right here and it shows up here. Um, and here I can decide, you know, where they did and didn't complete. So I can decide, oh, you know, you get this point, you get that point. Um, I can provide some additional feedback about, you know, you know, um, think about this. Uh, great job you know I'm not gonna really get into details here but this is where I could actually provide some targeted feedback around those different categories um, interesting but so I can do that it starts to fill it out I might want to hit two more just make sure I have all of them and then here I can give a broader overview of feedback so I can textually say you know give the the fuller uh, you know, the fuller picture of thoughts about this assignment. But here's the really cool thing. Notice I have the HTML editor bar here, this little, this, this set of tools. I can actually insert an audio comment or I can record a video. So maybe I want to convey some really important information or I want to do some high summary feedback to students so that they get a sense of my voice, my enthusiasm, my interest. I can actually click on either of those. I'm going to do the audio recording. I'm going to start the recording and I'm just going to, you know, talk as if, you know, oh, wow, this is really interesting. I thought really liked what you did here, blah, blah, blah. Go through all of that and, you know, or do that in two, two minutes or less, uh, which I think is pretty easy or pretty well to do in terms of high level feedback that you'd want in this area. Once I'm done, I'd attach the recording and we're going to take a look at what that looks like from the student's end. But that's all the feedback in there. The other really cool thing is that when students are actually submitting, in this case PDFs, but we're hoping to expand to Word documents and the like, you can actually annotate in this space. So I can come up here and I can decide, hmm, uh, maybe I want to add a comment. So this was interesting. Um, I can just, why did you choose this, right? And so now this is a, this is a comment that um, and I can also add it to a quick list. In other words, if it's a comment that I'm going to use often, I can add it to the quick list or I can delete the comment. But that's now, you know, it, it hovers right there. So it hovers wherever I first click. 
and it's a nice you know nice easy way to add comments to papers so may, you know I might say add another one here so again I click the comment button and now of course it's not letting me let's try that one more time I can also change the uh, the different colors of the comments but let's try and add one here so again I can click drag uh, interesting consideration and there's other things I can certainly do I can highlight uh, and so maybe I want to bring attention to um, this particular piece I can actually um, I can, there's some features here I wouldn't recommend using, such as the cross out, right? So I could, these are what we would call stamps. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but it does have a smiley face. So there might be somewhere where I want to insert a smiley face about some comment or such. Uh, so there's ways you can really visually engage with this, really make sure students um, kind of see that you are thinking about and really getting into the text itself. Uh, so yeah, you can really play around, provide that feedback, um, and just make sense of things. One of the other things I wanted to point out is, you know, this toolbar has a couple other interesting uses. The first is the, you might think of this as the undo and redo, uh, but actually what it does is rotate the, the PDF 90 degrees. So if for some reason something is submitted and it's sideways or it's upside down, you can actually use this to rotate the text around to where you think it needs to be. Uh, you also again have the, the this is more like the the pen or the free moving line and of course you can change colors on this so you might choose to do this as a blue if you wanted to highlight something I obviously cannot draw well with my mouse hand um, so yeah you have a couple different options here for really annotating providing that feedback for students and helping them understand where within a given document um, you really want them to be paying attention to so say I do all of this I'm happy you know I've done the the grading all of those things I can hit save I can either hit save changes and notice I, the box is defaulted to notify students so if I hit save changes the student will get an email that this has been graded and if I hit save and show next then the student will still get the notification and it'll move me to the next assignment the other thing uh, is I can hit reset and reset will bring it all back to before I ever touched it and therefore you know nothing has been has been changed all of this will essentially be erased a few other things to keep in mind is you can play around with the borders of this so over here you can decide actually I want this to take up less space right I want to be able to really focus on the paper before I decide to focus on the grading or maybe I want to focus on the you know this part and put the paper aside so that I can more visually see uh, the rubric and any feedback that I'm going to give so you can play around with how it shows up on the screen and you can also play around with how uh, this shows up by clicking on this little uh, this here which allows you to expand or um, uh, expand or collapse actually I that was my mistake of comments so it will either show comments or it will keep comments minimized like that so again depending on how how much is on your screen it may be useful to uh, do one over the other and then finally of course you can actually search if you want to find or look for particular comments in this case there's not a lot so they show up right here but if you had more um, it would be easier to actually find the comments that you were looking for all right, so this is what it looks like using both a rubric and this particular um, this particular assignment. What I want to do now is hop over to another assignment that was a marking grade. Uh, sorry, a marking guide. And the reason I want to do that is just as you can see here, um, I can either give you know ten points. I'm limited in you know giving zero, ten, or ninety points. There's no fluctuation there, and I just want to show what the marking guide looks like. So let's jump over to that. So here I am, slightly different assignment, uh, or, or same thing submitted, but slightly different assignment where I have the marking guide over here. So notice on the marking guide, I can grade up to 20 points for this particular section. So I might put in you know, some feedback and decide that this is 18. And then I might put in some more feedback and this is 20. And then of course some more and just kind of go through this guide and really uh, provide targeted feedback to those different criteria of the assignment and also be able to give a score that reflects that. But in contrast to the 
uh, rubric, I actually have more flexibility up to the maximum point there. Um, and so I make sure to uh, identify what the point is and I want to make sure that whatever I put in the t whatever I put in the score, there's clarity about why that score is there based upon the, the comments. Um, so I can do all of that and then once again I have this opportunity I can you know put in a bunch of text and then I can also include a I, if I so choose I can include an audio recording and we can go through that again. So really useful, again, I'm able to, and still here, I can give all the annotations that I wanted. Just wanted to make sure folks saw that difference between the uh, between the, the rubric and the marking guide, because it really will change or which one, what you're looking to do will impact which one you use. So that looks all great. I'm going to hit save changes. That student's going to be notified. And now for the last part of this video, we're going to actually flip and show you what the student sees. Now as the student, now that I'm in, I've logged into Moodle, I can go into the course itself, or if I'm just curious, hey, have I gotten any grades lately? I can come here to grades, and it tells me here are the courses that I'm taking, uh, and it also highlights, you know, where, where I have points uh, that have been awarded. So let me take a look in this course, and I can scroll down, and here's a bunch of things that haven't been graded, but here are the two things that have. So notice, I have, um, it provides the, the text that I wrote as the instructor, it provides the audio clip that I can actually start playing, and it obviously gives me the score. Uh, but if I want to learn more, I can actually go into that assignment, and I can uh, take a look. So here again, I have that particular feedback laid out a little more clearly. And also, I can take a look at the annotated PDF, right? So I can say, oh yeah, let's see, what, what was that information that was given here? Oh, there's a comment here. Oh, here are my comments. And I can see those other visual pieces of, um, it took me to the bottom there because the comments were uh, linked at the bottom, but here are those other pieces within uh, the, the other annotations and things that the instructor made on the paper. If I don't want to see it in a PDF, but I want to see it within Moodle, I can select View Annotated PDF, and now it pops it up nice and clear. And notice here, I can hover my mouse over um, the, the actual comments, and they pop up nice and easy. It shows me the full page of, of different pieces, and I can move page to page from that. So that's the feedback, that, that is providing feedback within Moodle using uh, rubrics, marking guides, and the annotated uh, PDF feature. They're really robust tools, and I really, you know, I can't stress enough how useful they can be for, for faculty and students to be able to make clear, you know, where, where they need support, where they're thriving, and where they um, can do uh, to better. So I hope this is useful. Let me know if you have any questions, and have a great day.